that man will destroy your life. It's hard to imagine just how much a harmful man can wreck your life. Picture being in a romance that begins with sweet words and promises, but soon turns into a terrible ordeal. These harmful men are experts at playing with your emotions, making you question what's real and chipping away at your confidence. They practice tricks like gaslighting, where they twist the truth and they pull you away from your friends and family. But it doesn't stop there. They crush your self-worth, make you feel endlessly guilty and embarrassed, and might even harm you physically or control your money to keep you under their thumb. This kind of relationship can deeply hurt your mental well-being and your connections with others in the future. However, there's a hopeful twist. You can escape. Learn how to take back your strength and put your life back together. Manipulating feelings. Picture this typical situation, a relationship that starts off exciting, hopeful, and filled with affection. But as time passes, what was once sweet gradually turns bitter. A harmful man, armed with convincing skills and subtle tricks, begins to establish his dominance. He doesn't confront you directly, but instead uses emotional tactics that are so cleverly done, they're not easy to spot at first. At the beginning, he makes small critical remarks disguised as concern. Are you really going to wear that? Or shouldn't you try a little harder? These seemingly innocent comments start to chip away at your confidence. Each day, a new seed of doubt is sown, making you wonder, am I wrong? Am I not good enough? He's an expert at manipulating feelings. If you resist something he wants, he quickly tears up. I just wanted you to understand me, he claims, making you feel guilty for having your own wants and needs. You find yourself yielding, not because you agree, but because the guilt is too much to bear. Gradually, the distinction between what you desire and what he wants blurs, becoming almost indistinguishable. Manipulating feelings is so harmful because it targets your mind and how you see the world. He might deny things that definitely happened, make you question your memories, and spin a story where he's the victim and you're the bad one. This tactic, known as gaslighting, is incredibly harmful. You begin to wonder if you're losing your grip on reality, if your memories are incorrect, or if you're just overly sensitive. As the manipulation goes on, it feels like you're trapped emotionally. You feel helpless, with no way to fight back or get help. Your self-confidence is slowly worn down, replaced by an overwhelming emotional reliance. He becomes the center of your world, the only one who can affirm or crush your feelings. When facing tough times, the teachings of Stoic philosophy remind us to find our inner strength and clarity. Epictetus once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Recognizing manipulation and taking back control of our views is key. Thought-provoking question. Have you ever had to live with a toxic family member? Are you living with one now? Share your thoughts in the comments. Being socially isolated. Imagine being in a relationship that started with lots of love and promises, but gradually the man who once seemed perfect starts to create an invisible trap, an emotional cage that gets tighter around you. He's good at making you think that your friends and family are bad for you. They don't understand you like I do, he says, sowing seeds of doubt and pulling you away from the people who truly care about you. He subtly causes arguments between you and your loved ones. Minor remarks turn into big disputes, all planned to isolate you from your support network. Whenever you talk about wanting to see someone else, he shows his displeasure or uses emotional tricks. I thought you loved me more than that he claims, making you feel guilty for wanting to keep up with your other relationships. This isolation is a deliberate form of control. 
Without even realizing it, you start to rely on him for emotional support as he becomes your sole companion. Gradually, you find yourself cut off from your friends, feeling more and more alone and unsupported. He turns into the most important person in your life, and the thought of leaving him feels impossible because you wonder who would support you if he wasn't there. This isolation can make mental health issues worse. Without your friends and family around, you might start to feel signs of depression and anxiety. Loneliness becomes a regular part of your life, and the hope for a better future seems far away. Here, the wisdom of Stoic philosophy can be enlightening. Marcus Aurelius once said, The joy in your life is shaped by the quality of your thoughts. By recognizing the manipulation and isolation, you can start to take back control of your thoughts and your life. It's crucial to rebuild connections with your social circle and seek their support to break free from this network of emotional manipulation. Thought-provoking question. How can you spot and stop patterns of isolation in your relationships? Share your thoughts in the comments. Shattered self-worth. Imagine being in a relationship that started with lots of love and promises, but over time, these promises change into constant criticism. A harmful man excels at making you feel less valuable. He begins to downplay your successes, turning each win into a loss. He constantly criticizes your looks and abilities and compares you unfavorably to others, establishing a pattern that slowly chips away at your confidence. You start to take these criticisms to heart. Initially, you might resist, but the ongoing repetition of these harsh words gradually breaks down your defenses. This sense of not being good enough seeps into every part of your life. At work, you begin to doubt your skills. With friends, you feel lesser. In other relationships, you hesitate to open up, fearing similar critiques. With your self-worth shattered, a harmful belief sets in. You start to think you deserve this kind of treatment. Every criticism and harsh word starts to feel like an undeniable truth in your mind. This fixed belief keeps the cycle of mistreatment going. The more your self-esteem diminishes, the tougher it gets to decide to leave the damaging relationship. You begin to feel worthless, believing you don't deserve anything better. Here, the teachings of Stoic philosophy offer a bit of hope. Seneca once said, Real happiness comes from enjoying the present moment without worrying about what might happen in the future. Finding the courage to live in the moment and recognize your own worth is the first step toward breaking free from the cycle of abuse. The journey to regain your self-worth must start from within, building resilience against outside critiques. Thought-provoking question. How can you start to rebuild your self-worth and see your value beyond what others say? Share your answers in the comments. Continuous remorse and embarrassment. Picture yourself in a relationship that makes you feel guiltier and more ashamed with each passing day. In the beginning, he was kind and loving, but gradually his attitude shifted. A toxic man will often blame you for issues he causes. He points fingers at you for his own unhappiness, saying things would be better if you were different. This makes you shoulder a burden that shouldn't be yours. Guilt follows you around like a shadow. You end up going over old conversations, wondering where you messed up or what you could have done better. But in reality, you haven't done anything wrong. He set up a harsh game where the rules keep changing, making sure you never win. This emotional trickery is clever and harmful, trapping you in a cycle of blaming yourself that's tough to escape. Constant guilt wears down your self-esteem. Shame grows deep, eating away at your confidence and hurting your mental health. Anxiety becomes your regular companion and depression starts to darken your days. You feel stuck, unable to protect yourself or set limits. 
Gradually, you begin to see the abusive behavior as deserved, thinking you must be at fault for this pain. In such moments, stoic wisdom can be a rescue. Epictetus once said, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Realizing that the guilt and shame he places on you are not real can be your first step towards freedom. You're not to blame for his issues. Everyone is responsible for their own feelings and actions. Thought-provoking question. How can you tell the difference between real responsibilities and false blame in your relationships? Share your thoughts in the comments. Mental abuse. Picture a situation where love is twisted into a means of control. Mental abuse is a particularly sneaky type of manipulation practiced by toxic men. Initially, he appears caring, genuinely interested in your thoughts and feelings. But gradually, he starts to manipulate, belittle, intimidate and threaten you, all to chip away at your self-confidence and independence. He's skilled at twisting the truth, making you question your own experiences. Minor criticisms escalate into attacks on your intelligence and capabilities. Phrases like, you're overreacting or it's all in your head, become a regular part of your conversations, leading you to harshly judge yourself and doubt your own sanity. Psychological abuse is subtle and hard to pinpoint, but its impact is deep and enduring. You might find yourself pulling away from others, believing the issue is with you. Continuous humiliation builds an unseen wall that keeps you from reaching out for help or talking about your suffering with friends and family. Intimidation and threats drain your strength, leaving you caught in a never-ending loop of pain and confusion. The effects of this abuse stretch far into the future. The emotional wounds it causes can make it hard to trust others, complicating not just your escape from the relationship, but also your recovery and efforts to rebuild your life afterward. You end up with invisible scars that shape your future interactions and choices. In these times, stoic wisdom can be a solid support. Seneca once stated, Sometimes, even to live is an act of courage. Summoning the courage to acknowledge psychological abuse and seek assistance is the first step toward regaining your independence and mental clarity. Remember, your view of reality is valid and significant. Thought-provoking question. How can you build your self-confidence and independence to spot and resist mental abuse? Share your answers in the comments. Physical violence. Picture a situation where a relationship that starts wonderfully with lots of love and promises but later becomes a prison filled with fear and control. Physical violence is the clearest and most cruel way a harmful man might dominate. Attacks, violence at home, and any harm he inflicts are tools he uses to take complete control. Each injury, every pain, constantly reminds you of his dominance and your helplessness. Initially, it may begin with a push, a slap. He says, sorry, and vows it won't happen again. But these promises are meaningless. Gradually, the attacks get more frequent and harsh. The fear of being hurt again freezes you. The thought of leaving seems too scary because the fear of what he might do if you leave is too great. Physical violence doesn't just leave marks you can see. The hidden emotional scars can be just as harmful. Living in constant fear can cause post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, anxiety, depression, and a feeling of powerlessness that affects everything in your life. The fear of being hurt is a strong way for someone to control you emotionally and mentally. Every violent act is a reminder that you are not free. At this point, the teachings of Stoic philosophy bring some hope. Epictetus once said, freedom is the right to live as we wish. Realizing you are being abused and asking for help is a brave first step towards gaining back your freedom. Healing from physical abuse takes time, 
the support of others, and professional help. It's a tough journey, but it is one you can make. Remember, your safety and happiness are the most important. Thought-provoking question. How can you gather the courage to seek help and regain your freedom if you are facing physical violence? Share your thoughts in the comments. Monetary control. Picture a relationship that starts off full of promises of companionship and affection, but soon morphs into a hidden cage where money becomes a tool of control. The harmful man, pretending to look after you, starts to control your finances tightly. He might stop you from working saying he wants to provide for you, or he might take over handling all the money for the house, claiming he's more skilled with finances. Whenever you try to do something financially independent, he blocks you. Leave it to me. I know what's best, he insists, fostering a dependence that seems caring at first, but soon shifts into domination. He keeps a close watch on your spending. Every cent is scrutinized and questioned. Why did you buy that? We need to save, he argues, making every minor purchase a critique of your choices and value. As time goes on, being financially dependent makes it almost unthinkable to leave the relationship. The thought of going it alone is scary because you don't have the means to support yourself. He uses money as a way to punish you, cutting off your access if you act in ways he doesn't like. Each day, you feel more powerless, caught deeper in a net of financial control that feels impossible to escape. This situation is a form of abuse that reaches beyond the physical and emotional, cutting deep into your psyche. Without the ability to manage your own money, you feel increasingly trapped and without choices, stuck not because you don't want to leave, but because you can't afford to. In these dark times, the teachings of Stoic philosophy might offer a ray of hope. Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Understanding that financial control is a form of manipulation is the first step toward taking back your power. Looking for ways to become financially independent, even small steps, could start your journey toward freedom. Thought-provoking question. How can you begin taking small steps to regain your financial independence when you are in a controlling situation? Share your thoughts in the comments. Mind manipulation. Picture a relationship that starts as a comforting place of love and support, but gradually transforms into a mental trap. Mind manipulation is a sneaky tactic of manipulation used by a harmful man. He begins by making you question your own memory, views, and sanity, turning your sense of reality into a confusing mess. Initially, these manipulations are subtle. He denies things that you clearly remember happening. That never even happened, are you sure? He states with a disturbing sureness, leading you to doubt your own recollections. As this behavior continues, he twists the truth in ways that make you feel as though you're losing your grasp on reality. You're just imagining stuff these days, he insists, and gradually you start to believe it. This kind of manipulation is incredibly harmful. Each seed of doubt he plants eats away at your confidence you begin to rely more on his version of reality than your own, creating a deep emotional and psychological dependence. He becomes your only stable point in a whirlpool of confusion that he has engineered. The sneakiness of mind manipulation is what makes it so hard to notice. Often, people don't see what's happening until they are deeply caught up, feeling alone, and doubting their own thoughts and emotions. This can lead to long-lasting harmful effects, affecting your decision-making skills and your self-assurance in future interactions. In such times, stoic wisdom can shine a light of understanding. Seneca advised, the person who worries about future troubles suffers more than needed. 
recognizing gaslighting and reasserting your grasp on reality is key. You're not going crazy. You're being deliberately misled. Reaching out to trustworthy friends and experts can help you escape this trap of manipulation. Thought-provoking question. How can you start trusting your own perceptions and memories again in a place where they are always doubted? Share your thoughts in the comments. Shattering of goals and aspirations. Picture being in a relationship that starts off full of promises for support and affection, but then turns into a cage that traps your hopes and desires. A harmful man knows how to belittle your dreams, making them seem unimportant to him. He might begin with small but hurtful remarks like, Do you really think you can achieve that? Or, that's just a waste of time. At first, you might argue back, trying to protect your dreams. But gradually, his constant negative comments start to chip away at your drive and self-esteem. Every time you try to progress, he finds ways to hold you back, sowing seeds of doubt that grow into big obstacles. Why don't you focus on something more achievable, he suggests, and slowly you start to think he may be correct. This kind of behavior deeply affects not just your personal and career growth, but also your emotional health. The sense of despair and frustration grows like a dark shadow that always lingers. He makes sure you stay feeling lesser and dependent, crushing any chance of you reaching your true capabilities. The absence of support and positivity acts like a slow poison, causing you to abandon your passions and dreams. Without the spark of motivation, personal happiness and fulfillment seem far and unreachable. Life becomes a cycle of just going along, where hope feels like a forgotten dream. In this gloomy situation, Stoic wisdom brings a glimpse of hope. Marcus Aurelius once said, You have control over your mind, not external events. Realize this, and you will gain strength. It's important to remember that your dreams are important, no matter his negative views. Standing firm in your goals is the first step toward taking back your independence and strength. Thought-provoking question. How can you begin to reclaim and follow your dreams despite negativity and discouragement from someone close? Share your answers in the comments. Emotional reliance. Picture yourself in a relationship where love and harshness mix so much that you can't tell them apart leading to an emotional whirlwind that's hard to leave. Toxic men are experts at making you feel emotionally dependent on them. They switch between showing you love, making you feel cherished and special, and being harsh, which makes you question your own value and sanity. This pattern of kindness and harshness becomes addictive, keeping you in a relentless quest for their approval and affection. Initially, the loving moments are enough to convince you that he truly gets you like no one else. But as time passes, the harshness increases and the loving moments become rarer. Yet, you hold on to those good times as a lifeline, believing that deep down, real love is still present, just buried under the arguments and harsh words. This situation wears down your self-esteem and your ability to stand on your own. You get used to looking for approval and comfort only from him, turning away from the support and reality your friends and family offer. Emotional dependence turns into a cage built from broken promises and fleeting moments of kindness. The fear of being alone and losing emotional support makes it nearly impossible to picture a life beyond this relationship. He becomes everything to you, and the thought of existing without him feels unbearable. You begin to believe that you can't live without him, thinking your joy and stability are entirely tied to this harmful relationship. Breaking free from this dependence takes time, help from others, and deep self-reflection. Stoic philosophy 
provides a valuable lesson here. Epictetus said, It's not what happens to you, but how you respond to it that matters. It's vital to discover your inner strength and reassess your worth away from this relationship. Realizing that your happiness shouldn't rely on someone else is the first step toward true emotional independence. Thought-provoking question. How can you start to rebuild your self-esteem and emotional independence in a relationship where you feel reliant? Share your answers in the comments. Pattern of violence. Imagine being in a relationship where calm moments are brief and trouble always seems about to break. The pattern of violence is a carefully built emotional snare set by a toxic man and it plays out in three harsh stages. Tension, explosion and honeymoon. During the tension phase, the atmosphere at home is like a battlefield. You analyze every word and action, walking on eggshells to dodge the expected blow-up. Anxiety builds and fear is your constant shadow. What will set off the next outburst? A look? A careless word? The uncertainty freezes you. Then comes the explosion phase. The emotional tempest hits with crushing intensity. It might be verbal, emotional, physical or financial mistreatment. Harsh words, yelling, perhaps even physical attacks. It feels like being broken into pieces. Your sense of self and self-worth gets smashed by his harshness and anger. And then, just as quickly as it started, the turmoil stops and the honeymoon phase begins. He says, sorry, vows to change. He becomes incredibly loving, bringing flowers and making sweet gestures that almost seem to make up for everything. You want to believe that this time it will be different, that his promises are real. This short period of calm restores your hope, but it's a fragile peace. Soon, the cycle restarts, the honeymoon period ends, tension rises again, and another outburst is inevitable. Each cycle not only tightens his hold on you, but also weakens your will and strength. Here, Stoic wisdom provides stability in the turmoil. Marcus Aurelius once said, The joy in your life is shaped by the quality of your thoughts. Recognizing the abuse cycle for what it truly is, a pattern of manipulation and control, is vital. Breaking free from this cycle is key to regaining your independence and health. The bravery to leave this harmful situation starts with the understanding that we deserve better than false promises and damaging love. Thought-provoking question. How can you start to recognize and stop the pattern of abuse in your relationships? Share your answers in the comments. Effect on emotional well-being. Imagine a relationship that begins with promises of love and safety, but soon turns into an emotional war zone. Being in a toxic relationship can deeply harm your mental health. Initially, you might overlook the subtle signs of manipulation and criticism, but as time passes, these experiences gradually weaken your emotional strength, like waves slowly eroding a solid rock. You begin to feel a constant burden, an anxiety cloud that never lifts. Small things that you once brushed off now cause panic attacks. Depression creeps in like an unwelcome guest who refuses to leave. Your days, which should be happy, become battles just to rise from bed. Psychological abuse not only shatters your confidence and self-worth, but can also lead to serious conditions like PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder. You might find yourself stuck in a loop of traumatic memories, unable to break free from painful recollections. Constant manipulation can make you question your own reality, leading to a deepening sense of despair. These mental health challenges aren't just limited to your personal life. They impact your ability to work, socialize, and maintain other healthy connections. Ongoing stress can turn everyday activities into overwhelming obstacles and interacting with others may cause anxiety instead of joy. 
In such times, Stoic philosophy can guide you towards recovery. Seneca once said, Sometimes, even living is an act of bravery. Choosing to seek professional help is a brave decision. Therapy can shine a light through the darkness, helping to restore your self-esteem and teach you how to cope. Acknowledging that you deserve a healthy and loving environment is the first step on your journey to healing. Thought-provoking question. How can you take the first step to get help and begin your recovery from a toxic relationship? Share your thoughts in the comments. Lasting impact on future relationships. Imagine finally escaping a toxic relationship, hoping the worst is behind you. However, as time passes, you discover that the emotional wounds linger, impacting your new relationships. The aftermath of a toxic relationship can stretch long beyond its conclusion, seeping into everyday aspects of your life and your interactions with others. You might struggle to trust again. Each new person you meet is overshadowed by doubt and the fear of enduring the same pain. You become hyper-aware, scrutinizing every word and gesture for potential threats. While this cautiousness may shield you, it also erects barriers that hinder the formation of deep, meaningful connections. Emotional trauma doesn't just linger as a shadow from the past, it actively shapes your present actions. To avoid being hurt again, you might dodge getting too close or committing fully, defensive moves to prevent the agony from recurring. Yet, this avoidance also keeps you from embracing the good aspects of relationships, the care, support, and true affection. After a toxic relationship has damaged your trust and self-esteem, it's challenging to believe that you deserve better. The fear of not being good enough or of being betrayed again constantly hampers your efforts to forge new, healthy bonds. Every new relationship becomes a tug of war between your longing to connect and your fear of being wounded once more. Recovering from these impacts is neither easy nor swift. It takes time, patience and often therapeutic help. Stoic philosophy offers a guiding light of hope and resilience. Epictetus once said, challenges reveal a person's true character. So, when faced with a challenge, think of the divine as a wrestling coach who has paired you with a strong opponent. Confronting and surmounting past traumas demonstrates your inner strength and dedication to yourself. With determination and self-awareness, healing can happen making it essential to allow yourself to trust and love again. These steps are critical in forming healthier relationships in the future. The path is tough, but every step toward recovery is a triumph over the past that sought to break you. Thought-provoking question. How can you begin to trust again in new relationships after experiencing a toxic one? Share your answers in the comments. Manipulation of Communication Imagine being in a relationship where your words are constantly twisted and used against you. A toxic man can skillfully manipulate conversations to make you the culprit in every situation. He might take something you said in confidence and use it as ammunition in an argument. Or he might twist your words to fit his narrative, making you doubt your own words. This manipulation can make you fearful of speaking your mind, leading you to suppress your thoughts and feelings to avoid conflict. Over time, this suppression can cause you to lose your voice in the relationship, feeling like you can't express yourself without repercussions. This kind of communication breakdown is a deliberate tactic to weaken your self-confidence and assert his dominance. Recognizing this manipulation is crucial for regaining your confidence and finding your voice again. Thought-provoking question. How can you recognize when your words are being twisted and used against you in a relationship? And what steps can you take to regain your confidence and voice? Share your thoughts in the comments. Inducing dependency. 
Imagine a scenario where you become so reliant on one person that the thought of doing anything without their approval terrifies you. A toxic man might create situations that make you feel incompetent without his help. He might criticize your ability to make decisions, from small choices like what to wear to significant decisions like career moves. By constantly undermining your judgment, he fosters a sense of dependency. You might start to feel that you can't manage your daily life without his guidance. This dependency traps you in the relationship, making it harder to imagine a life where you are independent and self-sufficient. Breaking free from this dependency involves reaffirming your abilities and taking back the power to make your own choices, big and small. Thought-provoking. Question. How does constant undermining of your judgment by a toxic partner lead to a sense of dependency? And what steps can be taken to reclaim your independence and confidence in decision-making? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content like this. Click subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any videos. Share this with anyone who would benefit from it, and as always, until next time.